Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. It has been a hot minute since I have done an Abercrombie try on haul. And I didn't even mean to, but we got one today. So honestly, I feel like it was like my goal this year to not just do the majority of my seasonal shopping on web one website. <laughs> Um, I've honestly been just shopping and browsing around many different websites to build my spring wardrobe and I'm really proud of myself um, just because I'm somebody who like gets kind of stuck at a brand and just buys everything from that brand and I'm kind of realizing that puts me in a bubble and I don't like that. So in a bubble I mean is where it's like all of their spring stuff tends to have kind of like a feel to it, a style to it and I just wanted to not just be all Abercrombie this spring but that I don't know you guys I went on for one thing my Facebook ad got me and I ended up getting a lot but I'm not keeping everything I'll talk you through what I am and what I'm not keeping and all of your feedback is helpful down below so let's let's do a little Abercrombie spring try on haul so I am taking a trip we're leaving at the end of April um, to Mexico and really excited about it but I wanted another bathing suit do I need another bathing suit no I need a bathing suit like I need a hole in my dang head but um this color just spoke to me okay this color spoke to me and I got it like I said this this whole thing started because of this bikini top because I saw it on a Facebook ad and I was like that's stunning Okay, so let's go through it. I love the color. First of all, it's like this blue, but it's not too royal blue. It's kind of like a pastel -y royal blue. I don't know. Tie straps. I love tie straps on just about anything. I think it's so feminine, so cute. Super adjustable because of that. It has the underwire, which I love. The only thing that would make this bathing suit just a little bit better, which this doesn't affect me, which is strange. Um, I typically like a tie back versus a clasp. I just think it's that much more... Like adjustable but this has one two three four different clasps in it and it's stretchy enough and the cups have so much room because typically I'm like a large in Abercrombie's um swimsuit tops and I know they've come out with the curve love those just don't they just give me extra coverage but not the way I need it if that makes sense um I don't know nonetheless this has enough stretch in this pad where it's not like there's no um, like cup pads in here. It's just fully stretchy and stuff like It's just perfect. I was wondering if the medium was gonna be too small, but it's perfection. It like, everything about it. Everything about it, I love it. And I also like that it's delicate with just this one little string. I don't know, I love this top. And I got that in a medium. And then I got the bottoms, these sort of like cheeky things in a size small. I will say I'm kind of a schmedium. I'm not, I carry a lot of my weight in my lower hip sort of region. Um, so I feel like I could go with a medium, but they're always just like, when they get wet, they fall off of me, if that makes sense. When they get wet, they get heavier and then they fall. I have mediums in Abercrombie bottoms and I feel like they're not, they, they're too big um but the smalls fit I feel like they just pinched me in a little bit but I'm willing to like give this a good stretch and uh and make it work because I feel like bathing suits I mean they kind of squeeze in no matter what but anyway I love this bottom I love the ribbed this is cheeky but not too cheeky I feel like you either find full coverage or thongs so it's like really not much in between but I love that swimsuit and then this I don't own anything that's like crocheted like this in skirt form for a cover-up and I'm in love with how this looks with that bathing suit. I'm in love with this in general it is so pretty yeah it's it's gorgeous okay so you can wear this like high rise or sort of lower rise it's this beautiful crocheted skirt and I like that it's just a plain bottom. It doesn't have any tassels. I don't like the tassel look. I also don't like any like scallops. I like that it's just a plain bottom. This is such a beautiful skirt. Like I, I don't know what else to say about it, but it's beautiful and I love it. And I feel like something like this I'll have forever and I can wear it with so many different bathing suits. So that was, yes. As soon as I tried those pieces on, I was like, 
yes okay now I also use these little try on videos to try it on for myself so basically it's not like me being like oh this what do you guys think it's more of like me seeing like can I mix and match this a couple different ways and like I feel like I love trying things on at home to really see yeah if it can mix and match let's move on to dresses I picked up two dresses I really feel like I'm not a dress girl but I kind of want to be um so I don't know I, the, the thing I don't love about dresses is or not even that I don't love about them the reason I feel like I don't gravitate towards them is because they're just an outfit in themselves and I like kind of building and mixing and matching which I feel like other people are like I love a dress because it is it in itself um but to me like I like athletic dresses because they're so basic simple and it is an outfit and it is what it is but I tend not to feel the same way about like a full just dress so we're trying hence why I'm trying these dresses and butter yellow is like everywhere this year I'm obsessed with it everyone's obsessed with it and I thought maybe I'm not normally a maxi skirt dress kind of girl but I have the dresses that I do own let's put it this way they're all Abercrombie so yeah I do love Abercrombie dresses but I thought maybe this could look cute I don't know though I feel like it's a lot of dress I feel like it's too much so I need y'all to sign off tell me what you think about this it's pretty it's kind of like a not a crinkled fabric but like a textured not linen but like a texture uh it's fully lined underneath which I love it's very adjustable with the straps in the back it does kind of mean to like go low so you do have to just not wear a bra with it um but like I said it's double lined so you don't have to worry about that I don't know if it's the most flattering thing to be honest with you I feel like it's just a lot of dress for me but I need y'all's feedback because I love the color but I feel like that's a lot so yeah we'll see next one I love this dress but I'm just kind of like will you wear it a ton I don't know it's so pretty the neckline though I will say one thing about the neckline okay so let me just show you it first of all has a zipper to get in and out of on the side the neckline is kind of funky in a way where it's not a square it's kind of like a I don't know how to explain it it's kind of just like rounded but I don't know and it, it kind of gaps a little bit out towards the sides because I'm not wearing a bra with it I did get this in a small which I feel like is like very typical for me and normally the small um with a bra is a little too tight so I thought this would be perfect because I wasn't planning to wear a bra with it I don't know I love the pattern the neckline just is like what I don't even know what that neckline's called I wish it was just straight but it's kind of like oval lead at the top nonetheless the straps thick beautiful I love the back of this dress I love the back of this dress and the pattern the back of the pattern and just the overall flow of this dress it's got the right weight to it it's stunning I, I don't know I love everything about this I just feel like frolicking through a field I feel like it's so just like such a beautiful spring dress I don't know sound off do I need to keep that I'm kind of on the fence okay let's move along to tops and bottoms shall we oh let's go with this top because this was a total fail for me I just did I don't know it looks so cute on so many girls and I love this red but it I just felt like it didn't do anything for me I would want to wear a bra with it but you can't wear a bra with it because of the way the straps are um I just had like a little bralette underneath it and it still didn't work it's really cute it's cinched in and it's like double layered but unfortunately for me is gonna be a no because I wouldn't wear no bra with it I would want something to kind of like since you're all out I don't know that's how my feels are on that but it comes in a bunch of different colors if you do like it or you're just naturally well endowed or naturally lifted maybe or you just wouldn't wear a bra with it then pick it up but next thing I picked up a vest like this from Target in tan and I was kicking myself for not getting it in the black I'm all about the vest trend but I like the vest trends where it's like high neck I like anything high neck I like to feel covered I don't know why I just do I either do or don't but I do okay and so the vest trend I loved but I hated that they were all like v-neck so I always wanted something higher and I found one from Target in tan it's kind of like a linen-y material and they're sold out and they're sold out in the black but when I saw Abercrombie do this black vest I was like yes now this is 
much nicer quality than the Target one. Um, but I feel like this trend is going to be very big for the next, like, little while. But how long is my concern? But I love wearing this casually with, I mean, obviously you could dress it up with, like, black shorts or black slacks, black skirt, whatever. I loved wearing it with, like, a light wash pair of denim because I feel like Abercrombie, what's this? Um, because I feel like it just kind of, like, makes it a little more casual. But I love the style of this top and... It's everything. It is so cute. I am 1000% keeping that. Next, I got some t-shirts. So I got this little cherries one. I've been seeing this and I thought it was so cute. I have picked up one of these already, but it's already sold out. So I didn't show it in the video. I believe this is cherries in, in Spanish, but uh, this part is embroidered and this part is just kind of like steam pressed on, but it looks so pretty. It's just very dainty and very cute. I get these in a medium and I love that one a lot. I think it'll look cute with like an all white look with like, um, like white linen shorts, a white skirt, uh, or you can wear it with jeans, overalls. Oh, that would look really cute with my free people overalls. This next shirt I got, I need in every color, okay? I will always try Abercrombie's basics. They just do fit so well, like so well. When I first pulled this out, I was like, there's no way that this is just a cotton t-shirt, but it is, it is in fact 100% cotton because it feels like it's so thin and it's so soft that it and feels like it won't pill. It almost feels like an athletic top, but it's not. It's 100% cotton. I love the fit of this. It's boxy, but not, I forgot the name of it. They call it like the, it's just the essential one. They call it the, I don't know, but it's a very professional looking, polished, maybe it's polished, polished looking t-shirt. I own the tight t-shirts. I own the big boxy ones. This is kind of an in-between. The weight of this, everything about this is so good. I do want it in the white and it is not see-through in the gray, which I can't imagine the white would either because I feel like it's a thick material. I love that top. It's so good, okay? I know it's a basic, boring essential, but it's so good. Next, I love Abercrombie's little like ribbed tanks. I own it in gray, white. I used to be obsessed with the Target ones and I still like them. I just feel like they're a bit thin and I use them for my walks now. I wore them all the time when I lived in Target or in Texas. I wore them like literally everywhere. It was really easy to wear a nursing bra with it um, when I was nursing, but I upgraded to the Abercrombie ones and now I use the Target ones for my walk. But nonetheless, I don't own anything scoop. Like I said, I'm a high neck girl. I'm a high neck tank top. I'm a high neck everything kind of person. But I saw this and I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm missing this out of my wardrobe. I'm missing a little bit of chestish area. So I said, why not try it? And I love this because I love the back. It can still fit like a normal bra or bralette. I, I wore a bralette. The Skims bralettes is what I'm living in. Um, with it, I could still wear it, the triangle one. But I love this. I love the way it fits. It's not too short. Like it still tucks into jeans, but it's not like bulky where I have a whole bunch of material. Um, so I love this. It's still tuckable, but not like bulgy tuckable. It's so good. Okay. Next top, um, I need y'all's feedback on this. I feel like I like it because you know I'm a button up girl, but I don't know if I love it. So I love some things I do love about it are the different pocket details. I think this is really fun and cool. Um, and I do not own a cropped button up. So I feel like that's a way to make things more like springy and summery. But let me know what you guys think. I just don't know if I love that it's like dark grayish blue kind of color. I wish it was just like blue instead of like this kind of like heathered looking material. I don't know, it's it's just kind of weirding me out a little, not weirding me out. It kind of has me on the fence with the coloring. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are down below. One thing though that I will never give up, you will pry this from my cold dead hands. I still have the tag on it, don't know why. I'm obsessed with denim. I love denim, okay? I have denim long sleeve, I have denim tank tops, I have denim um, holter top things. Now I have a denim t-shirt. This is so cute, can be worn open, can be worn shut. The quality of this is so nice. The buttons are so cute. I need this in my life. I will never be taking this off. Obsessed, can wear it a million different ways. Casually, linen, more dressed up with trousers, buttoned up, unbuttoned, just, there is something about denim that is so chic it's just so, I don't, I love it, okay? 
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next are these shorts. I had to get these in a 27 because they did not have the 26, which is what I showed the navy ones in this trend as well. I love these sort of like trouser shorts. I own the navy ones. Um, and then I own a couple from H&M that are linen, but I don't own any other sort of like material ones. These are kind of stiff though. My other trouser ones, I feel like, do you see what I mean? Like they stay kind of, they feel kind of thick. They're pretty, but I kind of wanted them to be like a more flowy fit, like a trouser versus this is like a khaki kind of denim -y sort of stiffness. I love the pinstripes on it, the blue. I think it's really pretty and very summery. Um, I think the 27 honestly works fine for me, but I don't know if I love the kind of like stiffness to them. So I'll have to continue to style them. I liked how I styled them in this video, which is making me like, you need those. Um, but I haven't decided yet. And then another pair, last pair of, um, striped pants that I got. So these are from the men's section. I love these. I've styled them in my spring outfits. I can't wait to wear. I'll throw that up in the cards. These are kind of like a carpenter. Uh, they're their loose jean. I got the 2830. They fit like slightly oversized in the waist, but nothing crazy. I love just everything about them. I got them in the 30s so that they would be a bit more cropped so I could wear them with sandals. But I think these are really just an effortless, cute top. They kind of, I will say they look Keep in mind that they look kind of dingy, but I like that look. They look kind of the bit, the background, the background of it, the denim is more of like a cream versus a white. So just like for reference, but I love these. I think these are fun with like a white tank, um, a patterned tee, anything like that. These are so fun and so cute. And I found them on killer sale or got them on killer sale because Abercrombie's always doing good sales. So that is it. That is everything that I picked up from Abercrombie that I want pretty much everything. I want to keep everything, but I'm not keeping everything. I got like a stackable code though. I want to say all of that. I think I got there was like 15% off of the website, plus I got a 20% off coupon on top of that. So everything was pretty good now. But I think I'm on the fence with those two dresses and the shorts and the button up. So let me know. Sound off in the comments. But anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. The last time I had done an all-inclusive brand sort of haul, I kind of steered away from them. I felt like they were a little bit too much. And I did not intentionally go in being like, I need all of this to show it no that wasn't what my plan was uh it just kind of happened that way I kept adding things and and that's what the result was but I didn't pull the trigger until there was a big sale but um yeah I haven't done one of these since last I want to say summer maybe fall maybe the end of or the beginning of fall end of summer I think is the last time I did one of these um you guys seem to really like them when I do them but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will have everything linked down below, but don't buy anything unless it's on sale. Okay, don't do that. There's always good sales and um, I feel like they're launching one every other weekend. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Please tell me what I need to return. Love you guys. Bye.